Well, Fraser, obviously we can now confirm you are a Swindon Town player permanently. Talk us through your thoughts. Yeah, um, just really happy to be fair. Um, the whole month's just been a little bit hectic and you know, I'm just grateful and really looking forward to the opportunity just to be an actual Swindon Town player now. And obviously lots of speculation, obviously lots of uh, press interest in where you were heading, potentially if you were staying, if you were going. Um, I guess now, how does it feel to have that clarity and know that, look, I can just focus on Swindon Town now moving forward in the season ahead? Yeah, um, the last couple of years have just been, I've been a bit here, there, everywhere, and I've kind of now getting to an age where I kind of want to settle at a place and try and get 150 games under my belt, do you know what I mean? So I'm just delighted to be here and I'll just carry on working and, and improving. So talk us through the, the reasons behind your decision, because obviously uh, reported interest in, in your services as well. Obviously you were on loan. Um, give us the reasons behind you, you wanting to stay here. The fans, um, the size of the club, um, the new manager. Um, yeah, a culmination of just many things. Um, I'm not really one to be on social media, but my friends and family always tell me like I'm really loved here, and I just the, yeah, I just feel so uh, grateful to be here, and I just can't wait to carry on playing. And obviously, you've been one of our top performers this season, played a lot of games. Have you enjoyed getting that regular t first team football? Because obviously, you weren't really getting that before. Yeah, um, last couple of years have just been injury wise and just out of favour with just certain managers. So. I've just been, it's probably the most I've enjoyed my football for years, to be fair, just playing a constant amount of games. I've really uh, took an interest in like looking after myself this season and it, it, I can see it's like in the benefits out on the pitch, I feel stronger, I feel, I feel robust and yeah, I just, it's good. And obviously you mentioned there, obviously you settled in really well, you know, from the, from the off, you, you were playing really, really good football. Is it just as simple as enjoying your football out there? Yeah, um, I've been playing football since I was six, so I'd like to think I've now got a lot of experience under underneath my belt and I've just learned from different managers, watching different players that I've played with and I think I've just sort of found my style of play. I'm a for a oh, wholehearted defender and I don't think that'll ever change. Um, giving 100, 101% out on the pitch is nothing nothing less than you can expect from me. A few more black eyes on the way, I'm sure. We've had a few this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm probably better with my head than I am with my feet. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I think that's just part of it. Um, I'm grateful to be in this position, so I'll do anything I can to stay in this, in this position. Whether that be smashing my head against other people's head, then this is part of the job. Uh, and obviously, um, uh, summarise the first half of the season because it's certainly been an eventful one uh, here at the club. But you know, we, we're still in the playoff contention. Is that a, a part of your decision to stay on and potentially developing yourself further as well? Yeah. Um, what's it been? Twenty six games now. So yeah, twenty six games. We're in the playoffs. I think if you'd ask most people at this point of the season, they would have said, we'll take that, um, we're in a good position, we've done well, we've got a young squad, we're going to lose games, we're going we're gonna to go on a run of games, I, I expect us to, um, but no, it's just, um, we've got to find some consistency and consistency brings results really. And obviously a new manager now has come in in, in Jody, he's come in pretty much halfway through the season, is this almost like a, not a fresh start, but there's there's lots to build on and a fresh approach to the second half of the campaign? Yeah, for sure, he's he's, he's a top coach, uh, we've been training with him now for two days and you can just tell the intensity um, in the training is just fantastic, you can see he's very demanding of players and as one club, fans, players, staff, all the people upstairs at the club, if we can all pull in one direction and work together, there's no reason why this club shouldn't be getting promoted this season. And, and Dara Set, you're one of the more experienced heads in, in the squad, a very talented young side. Um, obviously, we've seen it on the pitch, a real leader out there, very vocal. Uh, how have you found that sort of role being here and, and almost being someone that other players look up to? Yeah, I just feel like it's part of my character. Um, I've always been someone who wants to say his opinion, try and help people, try and 
talk to others, try and build a relationship and an environment that will help people thrive. Like, just because I'm one of the elders, it doesn't mean, like, someone who's 20 can't be a leader as well. There's definitely young boys in there that have got potential to be, like, really, like, um, influential people in the, in the camp, but no, I just I found I found my role in the team, and I will just keep leading, demanding, and pulling from people, sort of thing. And just finally, I think it's safe to say that, that Swindon fans will be pretty delighted that you're you're you're, you're staying on here at the club. Um, just to round things off, would you have a message for them heading into at the business end of the season? Message, yeah, um, stay ready. Stay ready and be excited because we've got uh, 20 more games to go and anything can happen.